Hey, this is John Lang with Tech Talks. We're going to do some tidbits and some tips about instructional technology. Today, we're going to talk about inserting a photo from Google Drive into your website. Now, since all the websites in our school's domain share storage space for websites, we don't want to kind of chance it. The best way for us to store and to upload those photos is to insert them from Google Drive. So we're going to go through the process, do a little tutorial, and as always, if you need any assistance with anything, give me a heads up, we'll do some one-on-one. -on -one. All right, as we start off, most people do start off with Google products in their email, but you know, anywhere, and, and Google is fine. Remember, go to the Apps Grid, click down on Drive. When your drive opens up, it's a nice time to actually create a folder, and we're going to put our photos in it. So I'm going to click New, Folder, and I'm going to call this Website Folder. That way, I know that any photos I put in there, you can call it Website Photos, whatever works for you, that's where they're going to be. Okay, I'm going to make sure that that folder is highlighted, so I clicked once on it. And I'm going to go up to the Share button. From this point, we're going to go to the little word advanced that's down here. I'm going to click on advanced. And notice that it says private, only you can access. We need to change that so everybody can see all the photos that we put on there. Uh, we could use either of the top two. I recommend using just on public on the web. And we're going to make sure that that's the only thing we hit. And we're going to hit save. Okay, I've double check. It says public on the web. So I'm done. Now I can go inside that folder and I can upload any photos that I need to. So I can go ahead and go file upload or you can drag and drop in there. And I'm going to go ahead and find a picture that I want to use on my computer. And let's say I want to put this one on there. We'll open it up and it'll upload, pop in there. And remember because that folder is shared, anything that's in that folder will be shared with the public. So any of your photos that you put in there of you, your kids, whatever, um, students, th those are going to be shared automatically. So they'll be ready to go. Okay, this one's almost done. And as soon as it's done, there we go. It'll pop up here in just a moment. Got it. And I'm going to go ahead and open my site. So I'm going to the app grid again, go to my site, and I'm going to drop down Mr. Langley's Classroom, the one I built the other day. I'm going to go to Edit. I'm going to put this on my home page. And I want the picture on the top, so I'm going to give it a little extra couple spaces here. So I just hit Enter a couple times. And here's how we're going to set it in there. We're going to go to Insert, and I'm going to drop down over here to Drive. And I'm going to drop over here to image. Now I have a bunch of images in there, so I have to dig through and find mine. You're not going to have very many in images, so yours will probably be pretty easy to find. So I'm going to scroll through here kind of quickly looking for that photo. Hopefully I can find it pretty quickly. If I would have paid attention, I could have just keyed in the name of it. But I wasn't paying attention. I'll tell you what, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to look at the name. Okay, once I find the photo, click on it, and I'm going to hit select. Okay, now notice I picked a really good size photo, so I'm just going to click once. And if you remember from the trading, after I click once, I'm going to click on small. And then I'm going to work up from there. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good size for it. And remember, I can center it. I can left justify. I can actually leave it left justified, and I can turn the wrap on, which puts my text over on the side. So you've got some options there. Now, the other thing that I do recommend is hitting the remove button for the hyperlink to take that hyperlink off of there. And then all I have to do is hit save. Okay, last thing to remember is 
I have to leave that photo here in Drive. If I happen to delete the photo, delete the photo from Drive, it's gone from my site. So this is basically just an attachment over to the Drive folder. So I have to leave it so it shows up. Okay. That's as simple as it gets. If you have any questions, make sure you catch me. We'll do one-on-one -on -one if I need to help you out with anything else.